Hello everyone, welcome to 2022, and we begin our sumo year with Technique Prize winner Uda and his recent interview with Japanese website Daily, in which he spoke very candidly about sumo and his frustrations over how few people seem to understand the scale of the challenge he faces. The next words you hear will be his, rearranged only slightly for a better flow. You know, I went to Kansei University mainly to study, and not to become a sumo wrestler. It was only once I felt my graduation was in the bag, after about two years, that I put real effort into sumo. And part of that effort is very easy to convey to the wider world. I've upped my fighting weight from 64 to 140 kilos over the past nine years. Yet still people seem to underestimate what that takes. Which is why I talk so much about having your own access. I do believe that it's better to compare who you are with your past self rather than against others. So when people say, Ah, oh, Tedanov Uji had an injury like yours and came back to reach Yokozuna, I'm like, come on, we are so not the same. Thus, when despairing over my own injury two years ago, did I start writing down my motto of keep your own axis. It's especially important to have one, free from other people's viewpoints, when your effort goes unrecognized or you get unfairly compared to others. And it's important to have one when facing the press, because reporters often like to speculate about my condition after just three or four days. Oh, you look good. Oh, you don't look so fine. But based on my axis, honestly, I feel I can only assess my true condition after the full 15 days. So if you ask me about it mid-tournament, I really don't know how to answer. Only when everything is over do my results tell me to either feel relieved or despondent. Although part of me thinks I shouldn't put defeats down to my size, it's difficult not to think like that. I do feel slightly inferior when seeing that most people around me are bigger. There are times when I'm beaten hands down for power. And I feel I lack ability too. But I will try and see some of the positives in being small. I used to resist bigger foes through speed and technique alone. But having done my knee in twice, I can no longer move around as freely as I'd like. Although I'm small, I basically have to do power sumo these days. And believe me, that is tough. But I view this added power as an extra weapon to draw upon. Now, bigger fighters can output consistent levels of power with their ability. But as a smaller wrestler, I consider winning as down to only 20% ability and 80% sheer luck. Before November, for instance, I felt even 5 wins would be something, but ended up getting 10. And it's often the case that I go into tournaments feeling negative and come out with surprisingly good results. I get some flukes against guys who are obviously stronger than me. Sometimes I get fortuitous wins by leg pulls and such. And I guess that's a key difference between me and the Yokozuna. The one person who needs no luck at all. For no one gets to that level on luck. It's 100% on ability. Nearing the age of 30 doesn't exactly put me in the best mood this year as I'm worried about physical decline. But in this modern sporting age, I tell myself 30 is nothing to get down about. Or contraire, I can still grow as an athlete. Which is why I've written Desire to Improve to sum myself up. So this year, I want to acquire the power that gives me the confidence to survive in Upper Division 1. Let's move 80% luck and 20% ability to somewhere nearer 70-30. The Technique Award 
is not so easy to get that you can just casually say, oh, I'll go for it again this year. I can only convert November's prize into confidence as I hope to challenge again in 2022.